is that sneeze fudge sickle juice on you. <laughs> really, Carlotta? You should learn how to rub elbows with little people more often. After all, this country was built on the common man. Yes. Not unlike your reputation. <laughs> I forgive you for that. Since I do appear to be in the full bud of my womanhood, while your old blossom clings to the vine by hangnail. <laughs> anyway, I just came by to tell you some fantastic news. Have you decided to move away, change your name, and never contact us again as long as you shall live? No. Then you do not have fantastic news. <laughs> well, for your information, I was having drinks at the Peabody, and seated right behind me was none other than Mr. H. Philip Means, one of the editors of Town and Garden magazine. Who just happens to be in Memphis searching for a fine old southern home with a fine old southern family? And you'll never guess whose humble little boat he just happens to be interested in. Whose? Ours. Why? <laughs> well, first of all, he was quite taken by my impeccable social credentials. Do you mean our impeccable social credentials? Kathleen, let us not forget that before you married Big Guy, your impeccable social credentials consisted of four nights as a floater at the Tennessee Feed and Grain Convention. <laughs> Well, you can insult me all you want, but I just know we'll get selected. Why, even Bootsy says... If you don't mind, Kathleen, we prefer not to seriously consider the opinion of a woman whose dog wears hot pants. <laughs> well, I know that. You're not the only one who recognizes crassness and vulgarity. Why can't I make fun of Bootsy and Wildbill just like y'all do? Because you're not good enough. <laughs> well, Missy, we'll just see who's not good enough. When Mr. H. Philip Means shows up here for that interview, tomorrow. Tomorrow? He's coming here tomorrow. Carlotta, this is just the kind of social boost we need right now. If our family turns up on the cover of that magazine, I guarantee you, all laughing is going to stop. But how are we going to explain the Westchester living here? We can't say his big guy's illegitimate son. Marshall, those people could completely humiliate us. We're talking about cultural zombies. Only two people in the world who bought the soundtrack to look for the union label. Well, whatever you do, don't tell them to dress up. They'll wear those matching J.C. blazers. You know, the more I think about it, we just might pull this off. But nothing can be left to chance. We have to make Bootsy and Wild Bill over from head to toe. We'll give them a crash course in class. Everything from table manners to the right names to draw. Oh, it sounds so exciting. What can I do? You be in charge of manicures. <laughs> this one opportunity is not 